What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the WWE SummerSlam event, all challenges, rewards, and even more. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and with that being said, the team is hard at work over on Detonated.com, keeping you guys up to date with all things MW3, and of course, all things Black Ops 6. As a reminder, you can use code DYNAMITE to save 10% off any order over at Control Freak, including for the Deadshot Daiquiri Collector's Can. Inside, you get some exclusive thumbsticks, and even a free in-game charm, but this is definitely a must have for any hardcore zombies fan pick this up while it is still available now over in season five right now i believe a triple xp event is active so that's going to be double xp weapon xp and battle pass progression so it's cool they kickstarted the season with this type of event i know the double xp event isn't mentioned in the event tab for whatever reason but when you click on your xp tokens you should see that an event is currently live now during the season five crater call and as i posted over on detonated a few days ago the dna bomb has unfortunately been removed from from MP and replaced with the MGB, which requires you to get 30 kills and does end the game. DNA Bomb was unfortunately just exclusive to Season 4, but maybe they'll leave it in private matches or something. As of now, it's still not there. They've also kept in the ability to loop kill streaks. You, however, can't earn streaks while using streaks. That was also a Season 4 exclusive. So for anybody out there that's confused about why streaks are a bit different this season, it was clarified in the recent Creator Call. But in the background, I got some gameplay of the new 6v6 map called Bait that actually plays pretty damn well and fits perfectly with the aesthetic and theme of the summer. Hopefully you guys like some of this awesome gameplay with the brand new DLC weapons. Had a blast grinding a bunch over on stream, and I'll see you guys in the podcast live tomorrow where we're going to be breaking down everything about the fifth season thus far. Now, unfortunately, we didn't end up getting a new cinematic cutscene kind of furthering the narrative that MW3 has had post-launch. There hasn't been too much of a story, but considering Valeria is the highlight of the season, I figure they might have maybe teased something that took place after the season three cutscene from last year in Modern Warfare 2 where Valeria broke out of prison, Alejandro was going after. Sadly, we ended up just getting the gameplay trailer that played in-game in place of a cinematic cutscene, so it looks like we're gonna have to wait until, what, 2026 to get a follow-up on the current Modern Warfare narrative. Season 6 is likely gonna be themed all around the haunting, which is probably what MW2 did last year where we had a whole cutscene around Spawn and a bunch of the other crossover characters, so it looks like this will be the last normal season of Modern Warfare 3, but in terms of a post-launch story, we just did didn't get much. Now, I'm hoping that Black Ops 6 ends up raising the bar again, as they did with Cold War with how to tell a post-launch story. I actually have a video about BO6 coming out relatively soon, but another update in regards to MW3 is that the game is now available on Game Pass. You can, of course, pick up the game with any subscription and any tier of Xbox Game Pass. The cool and unexpected part of this, though, is that Black Cell and even various COD point packs and even Pro Pack bundles are available for a 10% discount if you are subscribed to Xbox Game Pass. This is actually pretty unexpected, and funny enough, was actually a suggestion that Fajardi made on a recent episode of the podcast. He was like, hey, what about another benefit for being subbed to Game Pass is getting a discount off of various cosmetics or other portions of Call of Duty, and what do you know, that's exactly what they ended up doing, which is pretty ironic, and a leak does suggest that MW3 is coming to Ubisoft Plus game streaming at some point, which I believe was mentioned somewhere in the Activision acquisition back when that was still going through the courts, so that's crazy. There'll be multiple platforms in which you can play MW3 on, or multiple new ones, I should say. I'm curious what that's going to do to the player count over the next couple of weeks, if not next couple of months. Let me know if your lobbies get any easier here with this current MP. Now tonight's video is sponsored by TRIPS. TRIPS allows creators to turn their creative assets into financial assets. TRIPS allows creators to take their catalog of old or future content and monetize it further to help folks invest more into their brand or community. Now as a creator myself, stamping content with my copyright is important for the safety of my ownership, but also opens up the door to investors while still remaining in full creative control. TRIPS lets creators protect their content ownership while gaining access to additional financial and brand growth opportunity. Now here's a quick example. Justin Bieber did music for about 20 years before selling a back catalog for nearly $200 million. With Trips, you can go through that process much faster. Don't forget, Trips is completely free to use and not a crypto company. Now, there's a promotion happening right now. When you first sign up for Trips, you have a chance of earning up to $250 when you link your YouTube account to get an evaluation of your content. But if you're ready to maximize the profitability of your existing work, then be sure to check out Trips with a special link down below in this video's description or the pinned comment. And thank you to Trips for sponsoring tonight. 
tonight's video. Now, as far as the WWE SummerSlam event goes, Season 5 didn't launch with any type of challenge event, which I think was a nice change of pace compared to previous seasons because we already got quite a bit on launch day alone. I think it's better to save an event on this scale for a different Wednesday. And what do you know? This is going to be kickstarting on July 31st, so about six days from now when I'm uploading this video. And I think oftentimes we've seen a couple of pretty cool challenge events release on busy days to where the event gets overshadowed by other things. So luckily, we're not going to be worrying about this event until, again, next Wednesday. But as far as the multiplayer challenges do go, you have to get X amount of point blank operator kills with a shotgun, X amount of operator kills with a gunslinger vest perk equipped, and a Kimbo on a pistol. You then have to get X amount of operator kills with the riot shield or sledgehammer, followed by you get X operator one shot two kills. Now, that might have been a typo in the Twitter thread that I'm reading, but there'll be plenty of article updates linked down below whenever we learn more information about the exact kill milestones you need. It also says perform X amount of executions, get X amount of hip fire kills with an LMG, and then get X amount of operator kills with a frag grenade or sticky with the modular assault rig perk equipped. I'll show you what that looks like on screen in the case that anybody is unaware of where that perk is located. But then over in Battle Royale, it says in Warzone, interrogate X amount of operators. Also, get X amount of operator kills with any kill streak. Then get X amount of operator kills while driving or riding a vehicle. That sounds pretty crazy. And then in Warzone, get X amount of operator kills with a finishing move. In Warzone, get X amount of operator kills with explosives. Place in the top 10 X amount of times. And then lastly, in Warzone, get X amount of operator melee kills. Moving into Zombies, get X amount of point blank kills with a shotgun. Get akimbo kills with a handgun. Not sure how many. And then get X amount of kills with a melee. Followed by kill two enemies with a single shot X amount of times. Coming towards the end, get X amount of special zombie kills with melee weapons. And lastly, get X amount of hip fire kills with an LMG. There's actually one more. Get X amount of explosive damage kills as well. So there's about seven challenges per mode. And the way it works is simple. There's going to be seven total challenge rewards as a part of this event. And in order to get each reward, you have the option of doing a specific challenge in MP, Zombies, or Warzone. We're not sure which challenges are grouped to which reward. That's probably going to leak out at some point in the next few days. The usual data miners typically go ahead and force load an entire event that's unreleased into the game a bit early, giving us a glimpse of the UI in the menu and which rewards are tied to which challenges. If that does get leaked out, again, I'll update the article on Detonated and probably change the thumbnail of this video to reflect that new event screen. Now, I don't know if every single reward has already been leaked, but quite a few of them have. So you could see that there's going to be like a sticker to reflect SummerSlam Cleveland. There's going to be a ghost looking calling card, a WWE emblem, or maybe that's a decal. Uh, there's also a championship belt weapon charm, which looks absolutely insane. I believe a pretty big loading screen that we're going to end up seeing that's in the background of this image that was posted. And then last and certainly not least, a actual operator skin. So I believe this is the third event in MW3 to provide players with a free operator skin. The first event, which wasn't really an event, but the Act 3 mission in Zombies allowed players to unlock a free, pretty cool looking operator skin. Then there was that Zombies themed challenge event in Season 2, which also provided players with one. And this may just be the third event allowing you to get a literal operator skin. I believe that's going to be a skin for Scorch, if I'm not mistaken. If I got the character wrong, feel free to correct me respectfully down below in the comments. But the skin actually looks pretty damn cool. You get the wrestling wear on the actual skin. You get the championship belt on him too. I'm actually impressed this is a free operator cosmetic. I mean, I think this is probably one of the best free operator skins we've ever seen added into COD, especially if you're a wrestling fan. But overall, I think this complements the other WWE superstars that are in this game. We have Rare Ripley via the Battle Pass and then the two unreleased superstar bundles for Cody Rhodes and even Rey Mysterio. Now, there could even be a blueprint or a camo tied to this event. If that's the case, again, I'll pin a comment down below, probably make a follow-up short, and the article on Detonated will be updated with that new information. Again, as of right now, limited info is known about this event, but at least we know what the challenges are. I think it's great when you get the option to do a challenge in any mode of your choice so that you're not restricted to either owning MW3 or doing the challenges in Warzone. Players will have the freedom for about a week to do these challenges in any mode that they want. Now, as a reminder, after August 7th, when this event supposedly comes to an end, we're going to be seeing some other challenge events like Conquest, Echo Endo Live Field Rep, Wildlife Most Wanted Field Rep, and then Emotional Overdrive. And that's going to be considered a mid-season event closer to Reloaded. And I believe a bunch of challenges also leaked out for some of those other events and even some rewards. When that's all compiled by the team, we're going to have some articles going up on the website just to give you a head start on what's included in some of these events. I'll have various videos also breaking these events down as we get closer to the release dates. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comments section. What are your thoughts on the WWE SummerSlam challenges? How are you feeling about a free operator skin reward? Plus everything else we discussed. Really hope you've enjoyed.
enjoyed and peace out everybody.